Well, hello, hello. Today's story is going to be a very interesting one. It's about some unusual brews. And through the course of this video, I'm going to take you through three unusual brews. One is the nettle leaf plus cinnamon powder tea. One is the chamomile flower and green tea. And the third is the tulsi or the holy basil plus lemongrass tea. So the process is very simple. Boil the water, add the ingredients, cover and steep and then strain and drink it. You can add a spot of honey to sweeten your tea as per your taste. So the three teas that we're going to talk about, I'm going to show you what they look like and I'm going to walk you through their benefits. But let me tell you a little bit about the history of tea. According to legend, tea dates back 5,000 years ago to ancient China, where apparently, apparently, as legend has it, that an emperor was sitting in his garden and he, there was a pot of boiling water and uh, some leaves of a wild tree blew in the breeze and fell into the pot. The aroma was so intoxicating that he was very tempted to try it and once it had brewed, he sipped it and there we got our tea. So this is the story behind tea. There are many ways to drink tea and it is enjoyed almost by people from all over the world. So here's what our three teas look like. So I'll go in for a closer look. So here you have the first one which is a chamomile flower and the green tea. Now I get my chamomile flower from Forest Side Farms in Uttarakhand. You can check their Facebook page out. And the green tea is the green tea elixir from Makai Bari Darjeeling. So I prefer tea with leaves in it rather than dust. But you can use any green tea that you prefer. The second one is nettle leaves. Again, these nettle leaves I have got from Forest Side Farms in Uttarakhand. They're dried nettle leaves. And this is a Sri Lankan cinnamon powder that is available over the counter at any supermarket. And the third, is, these are both from my garden. That's the tulsi, so the, or the holy basil, and those are lemongrass leaves. You can also use the lemongrass stalk after washing it and bruising it. So this pretty much tells you about the three teas that we're going to work with. So there's the chamomile and green tea. This one is nettle leaf and cinnamon. And this one is tulsi or holy basil and lemongrass. Now let me tell you a little bit about each. So let's first start with chamomile. So chamomile, it reduces stress, it promotes good sleep and it is also helps in boosting your immunity. It is great for soothing a stomach ache and if you have a cold, you can take the steam from the brew of the chamomile tea. It is also very helpful as an anti-inflammatory and helps in soothing muscle spasms and period pains. Then we talk about green tea. Green tea, we all know the benefits. It's a powerful antioxidant. It helps spur weight loss. It also helps in controlling your oral problems, primarily bad breath. So you can gargle with the green tea liquor and it helps in reducing bad breath. It also works as a, you know, a, a kind of an um, inhibitor for any kind of chronic diseases. So it is overall a very healthy brew. And if you combine these two, then you have magic on your hands. Next, we move to nettle leaves and cinnamon. So nettle is very good for improving your focus. So if you find that your mind is wandering and you're unable to focus on something, it's very good to improve your focus. It helps regulate your blood sugar. It also works in stabilizing any kind of hormonal imbalances. So we all suffer from menstrual concerns and UTIs at some point in our lives. So UTI is a urinary tract infection. So drinking nettle leaf tea also helps in that. Nettle leaf uh, tea, if you have any stings or burns or cuts, you can soak a cloth in the brew once it's cool and you can apply it to the affected area. It also soothes your lacerations. Cinnamon is excellent for diabetics. It is known and proven that cinnamon taken with a little bit of honey is very good for you. It is also an anti-inflammatory. So for any kind of inflammations, it works to lower it. It's a good antioxidant. And it helps fight bacterial and fungal infections. So as you can see, both these teas that I've spoken about so far 
are just brilliant for a variety of illnesses and problems. Okay, those that unusual sound that you hear in the video are my three cats that are going at it. We come to the third which is your Tulsi or Holy Basil and Lemongrass Tea. So this one, we all know that Tulsi is great for relief from respiratory concerns, so coughs, colds, etc. It enhances your immunity. So if it is drunk regularly, it strengthens you from inside. It beats stress, it's good for over oral health and it's also a good anti-inflammatory. Lemongrass, either the leaves washed, snipped and washed and dumped in the brew or the stalk. You can wash and bruise it. It's a good antioxidant. It is antimicrobial. It's great for digesting your food and it acts as a diuretic. So all the excess water, water retention, it kind of leaches it out and it drains it. So all of these have many benefits. But you do know that all of this will only work if you're going to be healthy otherwise. So a good diet, good sleep, enough rest, some exercise, lots of water, all your essential food groups, all of this aids in making it work better. So the best time to drink your uh, tulsi and lemongrass teas in the morning, the best time to drink your nettle and cinnamon teas in the afternoon and the best time to drink your chamomile and green teas at night. So Tulsi is great for a happy wake up and a great day ahead. Nettle and cinnamon works best in the afternoon and chamomile calms you and soothes you and puts you in a good place for a good night's sleep. I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it because this is something that you may not find in the market but it's so easy to make in the house. They are unusual brews and they are great and I hope you can drink your way to better health. Take care until next time. Bye.